Light is one of the most important components in React 3 fiber scenes. That being said, in this video we'll explore some of the most commonly used types. Ambient light is the general diffused light present in a scene that doesn't come from a specific direct source. It represents the soft illumination that evenly lights all objects. To add ambient light to the scene, we simply need to create an ambient light component. We can control the light intensity and color using the intensity and color props. Next, we have directional light. This type of light doesn't have a specific source. Instead, it emits parallel rays that cover the entire area, and the best example of this is sunlight. To add directional light, we need to create a directional light component and specify its position, which rather defines the direction of the light. Of course, we also have the intensity and color props to control the light's brightness and color. The third type is spotlight. Unlike directional light, it has a specific source and illuminates a limited cone-shaped area. This type of light is commonly used in theaters and it's also associated with aliens pulling humans up into their UFOs. To create a spotlight, we need to create a spotlight component and unlike ambient and directional light, the intensity should be set in the dozens. As you can see, the light is present, however, testing different values to achieve the perfect position and other properties, particularly the angle, can be time consuming and require significant effort. With that being said, using a helper, specifically a spotlight helper, can be extremely beneficial, especially when paired with Liva. So, first things first, we'll create a custom spotlight component. Next, we'll import the use helper hook from Gray in the Spotlight Helper class from the core of 3GS. In the custom component, we'll create a reference to the light and then attach the helper to the spotlight using the use helper hook, which takes three arguments the light reference, the Spotlight Helper class, and a color for the helper segments. And there we go. Now we can take it a step further by controlling the light properties using Leva and observing how the light helper adapts in real time. To achieve this, we'll update the radius of the light's angle. Another property we can adjust is the penumbra, which adds a gradual blur to the edges of the spotlight, creating a softer transition between the light and shadow. Lastly, we have point light which has a specific source and emits light in all directions. A candle flame is the best example of this type of light. To create a point light, we'll need to create a point light component and set the intensity and position props for the light source. 